Jeff, how, how did it feel, Jeff, I guess, to be back out there and get camp underway? I felt great, man. The energies were there today. Um, it just, I'm just happy to be back with my teammates, man. Just be out there on the field, everyone happy. Everyone, especially on defense, you know, I'm over there with defense. We're trying to be juiced up. And I think that's the, that's the message, man. Come out here and just try to be uh, better each and every day. Coming into this year a little bit different from the defense last year, kind of knowing what you have, the guys that are back. Um, I mean, you know, last year don't matter. You know, it's all about what can we um, contribute to the defense this year, you know. Um, you know, because if you want to talk about last year, we weren't good enough. We didn't win the Super Bowl. So, you know, it's all about each and every day, especially in camp, because this is where it matters. This is what we build our team, and this is what we build our um, culture here in camp. Jeff, how do you feel the plan you had for yourself this offseason worked and, and prepared you for today? I'm feeling great. Um, I could tell that just the way I've been moving today, um, you know, with, you know, just the way, I've been um, taking care of my body and um, what, and then what I put in my body. It just, you know, everything shows out here, and, and you can feel it. You know, I, just, I feel great. It's probably the best I've felt in um, coming into a training camp. So, you know, just me being consistent with everything and all my, you know, the stuff that I said I was going to do this off season. I've been feeling great today. What is the weight difference right now from um, last year to this year? I mean, it's totally different. I, like I said, I weighed in yesterday at 309. So, I mean, that's one of the things that, you know, I want to keep consistent by staying, you know, right around that or under that. Um, so, I think that'll help me um, and help this team. What did you play at last year at your 309 now? Um, I mean, it was, it was um, up and down. Last year, I was probably around, you know, right around 315, probably sometime more than that, just depend. Um, so, I, like I said, this year, you know, my, my goal and my, um, my, I guess, what I was supposed to be doing is consistent. That's what I'm focused on, um, consistent. With that adjusted weight, do you feel like you're, you're quicker? And what were some of the things you did you know, during the offseason to that footwork and everything to speed it up? I mean, that's just the thing, you know. Um, when you light, especially playing my position, you know, you're not feeling, especially like this camp, you know, you always hear guys get camp legs. You know, that's something I, I feel like that'll help me out, especially later on down the um, camp, um, these days in camp, you know, just by conditioning my legs uh, with that type of weight I have on, on me is what tire me down quick, you know. So, but, you know, I did a lot of stuff with footwork-wise, especially with my uncle, you know, I'm up there in Dallas. You know, we did a lot of feet work, ladders, um, always, you know, keeping my feet moving through the rush and all that. So um, it just, um, like I said, uh, repetition is everything, so. I know strength was a big thing for you, you know, especially like the bull rush. Is there a trade-off? The, the nah, because I, I, for one, you know, Playing defensive line, you gotta have, you know, tools, and um, you know, I know what type of rush I am, especially when it come down to pass rush. I know can't no one stop the bull, so you know, I'm not gonna take that out of my game just because you know I picked up another tool or trying to learn another tool. How do you Jeff, measure success for this team, Jeff? I mean, what's, what's what's the measure of success for this team? How would you measure its success this year? Um, Day by day, you know, we, you know, we're not looking in the, uh, we're not even worried about the Giants or whoever we faced out of that. You know, I think what's going to define everything and all define our season is each and every day we come into this building. How much can we, you know, um, like Coach said, find your role. You know, everyone knowing their role and contributing to this team, giving their best for effort. You know, no matter, I mean. No, no one knows how far we could go as a, with this team. So I think the message is, you know, each and every day you come here, know your role and do it to your best ability. Um, it's made a, you know, a pretty good difference. Um, you just say, uh, really with my, you know, asthma and my breathing, um, just being able to, you know, handle, handle it a lot better. And, um, you know, just being out here with the team just makes it even more some, better for me. What are some things you did to handle the asthma better? Um, conditioning, running. You know, putting myself in situations where I know that my asthma would flare up and um, just being able to push through it and, you know, just be be dominant. Was that in the past, has the asthma, like, gone them. away seasonally? Is that, like, more of a uh, summer thing and the football season is better? Honestly, you know, I just, you know, condition and keep conditioning until, you know, I don't feel it no more and, you know, just making sure that I'm taking my inhaler before practice, after practice, just staying on top of everything. Should you have done more of that stuff before, before you? You, should you have done more of that stuff before you showed up here the first time? I would say yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's just being accountable. Um, you know, and I should have took a better, you know, um, attack on that. And um, you know, now that I am, you know, you can tell the big difference. Did the asthma affect you more here, Traylon, than it did in college? Because it didn't seem to be a. Um, I would say my my freshman and sophomore year. You know, um, it was you know it kind of messed with me a little bit. But once I got to my junior year. I was so much more uh, acclimated into the system and knowing my role and you know wanting to be better at my position and I just attacked it. How much how important was it just for you for your own peace of mind and comfortability standpoint was to come out today and have a good showing on day one given what you've gone through the past few 
Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I really wasn't thinking like that. You know, I was just thinking um, go out there, practice like a pro, be a pro, and uh, just be a part of the team and, um, you know, just play my role like Coach Vrabel says every day. And I'll just show up and, um, you know, gain that respect from Ryan and also everybody else on the team, all the vets, and, you know, just let them know that, you know, I'm not here just to, you know, make money. I'm here to win the championship. Will you, you talk, talk us through that catch, that? that first catch on the side? Say it one more time. Talk us through that first, the first catch at, at the sideline. <laughs> um, honestly, <laughs> um, you know, I just had a fade ball um, and just went and made a play for Ryan um, just to, you know, gain that. Um, respect and also um, just let him know that you know I'm gonna always be there when he when he needs something. What were those conversations like with Coach Vrabel in the spring about your health and trying to get back in shape? Um, honestly, he was just telling me to just take it one day at a time. Um, you know, um, everything's gonna take care of itself, and um, you know, don't don't harp on myself too much because you know it happens to the best of you know the best people, and um, you know just attack it day by day, and everything's gonna be all right. How were much you, is it how on concerned your... were you? Um, you know, I was concerned at one point just because, um, you know, I couldn't even, you know, go, you know, and um, it, it was getting to me. And then, you know, he came and talked to me and just told me, don't worry about it. Just keep attacking it every day. And then, Were you, you having know? conversations with Tannehill as well? Because he's a guy that builds trust. He builds right. chemistry early on, and that's something he's made clear. Correct. Um, I would just say during this offseason, you know, we were throwing, um, you know, just making connections, um, just letting them know, him telling me where I need to be in certain routes and uh, just going up and make plays. All the reps you took were with Dez and not – kind of what we would assume on the first team mm -hmm. where Nick is. How bad do you want to be in, on that first team with Robert, with Derek, with the rest of the starting group? Um, you know, man, I'm just playing my role. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where I'm at. Just, I'm just going to attack every opportunity that I get and I'm going to attack it to the best of my ability. Yeah, I mean, right now we're just focused on, like, having a solid foundation. Uh, day one for the earlier guys and, and whatnot. We've been out here for a couple of days, but it's nice to have everyone back on how the same field. How different do you feel today than this time a year ago? Um, more poised, you know. Uh, kind of, I'm able to trust myself and my instincts as opposed to learning the playbook. So, what's, yeah. your, what's your expectation for yourself now because of that? Oh, improvement every year. Every year I play football, I feel like I, I need to improve. Yeah. Well, actually, how do you measure success for this team? Um, I think wins and losses, but like that's the result of of our dynamics in the locker room and, and how we hold ourselves out here on the field. Like, I think it all goes back to how we approach the game with intent and uh, really like attack the day as opposed to letting the day come to us. In this sport, in this league though, like the measure of success are playoff wins. At least that's what we're always told. Yeah. What, what's your opinion on that? Well, yeah, without a doubt. I think, you know, the ultimate goal is to win a Super Bowl. Um, you know, there's no trophies for second place, but right now we're just focusing on what we can do today uh, and building ourselves for a better tomorrow. How much? How you approach Elijah just training camp this year, maybe compared to last year when you first got here, and was really just kind of plucking your way. Yeah, um, definitely no steps back. You know, I think first day is, it's good to get in the rhythm of things and kind of you know um, get our feet underneath ourselves. But there's, I think every day you got to get at least one percent better. Um, but really, just take everything one day at a time. You know what I mean? Don't try and um, you got you know you got to walk before you can run, and eventually we'll get there. You like to get near the head of the line in, in drills and reps. Is there is there leadership or follow me to? to yeah, lead? yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a little bit of a pecking order. Like you know, the veterans are definitely there um, at the front of the line, but I, I try and uh, you know, nudge my way up there every once in a while. You got a chance to talk to Buster, and did you learn some things from him while he was here last year? Without a doubt. I mean, he he had a great career. I think 11 years. Um, and it felt like I was with him longer than what it really was. So I, I you know, I shot him a text yesterday. Um, he, you know, he's doing his own thing, enjoying retirement. So, when it comes to this defense and just, you know, last year you guys didn't know exactly what what was going to be there, and yeah. this year now you kind of know what's going to be there. But how do you not drop back or keep that chip on your shoulder? Because I feel like that kind of pushed you guys last year. Yeah, I think so. I mean, since it was my my first year or two, I didn't really know anything yeah. different. So really, like, it's the same mentality, like, we have to go out there and set the tone um, and, and hold ourselves to a high standard. Like, it's, it's all the same. I feel like, um, I think it really goes back to, like, the character of our defense, our identity, um, holding ourselves to that standard. Because as soon as it starts to slip, that's when plays start happening and, and we're looking back and, and wishing we just, uh, did things differently. And that identity is? Oh, I mean, just being, you know, tough, um, you know, being dependable, aware. Just kind of, you know, knowing what to do and knowing what everyone else around you is doing. Um, and then effort, effort and finish is mandatory, you know.